Right, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to Saw Sanctuary, where where we left off last episode, we made a very mediocre house. Well, specifically me. Um, that's why I'm here today. I'm gonna build it right, like this title would suggest. And I've got a, I've got the blueprints and everything like I did used to do for Joe's Jazzy World. We're back, we're going back to the roots. So uh, yeah, let's, let's just get straight into it. Um, I literally started recording right where we left off, so I'll need to get some logs. I'll just get like two stacks or something. So uh, this uh, new building does not need calcite or any other building material, and it actually looks decent. So I think that's good enough for me. Begin the time lapse. Gosh darn it. <laughs> By the way, if anyone's wondering why Yummy Chemicals isn't in this video, it's just because I wanted to get this done. Like, it's a bit of a surprise for him as well, because I've told him that I'm going to spice up the house a bit, but he just doesn't know what it looks like, so... Resume time-lapse. Right guys, that should just about do it. Um, don't worry about this, I just went on a bit of a deforestation rampage. So, the good thing about this is that I've managed to keep it in the same structure, just with a few additions. So, it doesn't it doesn't look as bad as this on the inside, and uh, we don't need this, uh, we don't need hay in our house anymore, we're not living like horses. First off, we can completely remove all this calcite. It is useless to everyone, so let's just uh, replace it with a bit of um, cherry logs because this block is amazing enough to be without calcite, if that makes sense. <laughs> Just hear me out. I'm not... It's been a hot minute since I've recorded with myself, so just bear with me, guys. And there we go. It looks better already, right? Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Jack. I'm Jack. <laughs> um, I want to add some windows, like more vertical windows. What I'm trying to go for is like the uh, traditional Japanese house type style. I don't really know how to explain it, but you'll get what I mean. It's like a traditional Japanese house. That's the best I can explain it. So we can actually add some front windows like so. I'll need some more glass panes. <laughs> Alright, so to spice up the floor a bit, I'm going to add a bit of trailings, like I said in the last episode, that I wanted to do, but I didn't really know how to make it work. So we'll just use cherry planks. I can... It's, I overthought, like, how to build this house, so I just realised that I can just build it all with cherry planks and it'd still look good. I'm not the best builder, but I've... <laughs> If you give me a bit of time to plan, I'll be alright. And now what I'll do now is just to match the front and back windows. Uh, I'll make the side windows more vertical. Just add that Japanese-esque edge. Like I said, I haven't got the... What the hell? That was a weird place to... <laughs> I haven't got the best building practices. I know I don't. I just experiment, see what I like. And honestly... It's a bonus if you guys like it, honestly. And pretty much, there's not much else to do for the floor. What I wanted to definitely do was segregate our beds. So, uh, 
little yummy chemicals can stop invading me personally and uh, give me a bit of space. It would not like to hear that, that's why this video is being recorded before uh, the next time I record with it. I've placed the, uh, the crafting tables on the floor so it doesn't clutter the room as much and then add some furnaces in the corner just for convenience. And again, segregated rooms. That's pretty much it for the bottom floor. I'll add like some little bonuses like with the torches. I'll replace them later on. But now I can move up to the second floor. You'll see what I mean by how I want to design the house. Because I think it looks a lot more like how I intended it to be. So we can make these two sets of ladders going up simply to make it symmetrical and we can get rid of all of this on the top I don't even know what I was thinking because <laughs> I, I was gonna make it all the same size at the top but if I do that there's <laughs> it, it won't look as good I don't I don't just want a giant box to live in and again this I want to make it a nice uh, cherry log floor making sure it's all going in the same direction yes it is perfect I know a big thing Yummy Chemicals were mentioning was the interior, so that's what I've tried to fix with the <laughs> ladders in the middle. The reason why I'm using ladders and not stairs is because there's not really that much space. Like, it's a 12 by 8 house, I, th I believe, so... I don't know, I want to I wanna maximise the space we have, because it's not that much still. You can just fill the rest in with cherry logs. And perfect. I've already made the fences. I want to make like a nice little balcony at the top here, because um, we do deserve it. <laughs> and uh, you guys tell me, what what would you love on your balcony? Or more specifically, what would Yummy Chemicals love on his balcony? A way to jump off it. <laughs> now we can move on to the second layer. This was just like the outer decor, so... Uh, what you want to do is build four logs up on either corner. Then what you can do is on the smaller sides you can fill with cherry planks because there's not really that good of a window to fit there. What you're gonna look at this giant useless mountain? Of course not. Anyway. Uh, do the same, build four blocks up on just uh, giving a two space gap in the middle on both sides. I'm, I'm explaining this like a tutorial, but it's not that deep. You can... <laughs> this is just for entertainment, guys. This top layer of cherry planks can be replaced with cherry logs going uh, horizontal. Giving that nice border look. And I agree completely with what Yummy Chemical said in the last episode. The, the planks themselves don't look too good, <laughs> in my opinion. I think they were too pink, so... The cherry logs look amazing, and is that a bloody zombie? I probably shouldn't build just in the middle of a of it raining at night time as well. But you can just follow what I'm doing. Uh, the uh, to actually give room for a door because the doors aren't three by two. I need more glass panes. Uh, luckily, uh, Yummy Chemicals did me a, a giant favor and just got them for me uh, the last episode. So. We see him alright in glass for now. What we can do now is start pla not doing that. Start placing the outer logs just like this, similar to the bottom layer. Now you can build up to the third layer, making all the logs up one, and then these middle four should go up by three, just like this. Because there's not really space for a window, you can just fill the rest in with cherry planks. Actually. The reason why I've sloped it up like this is to make way for a stair roof, which is just exactly what I want to make it look like. Um, so it'll just gradually build up. I need to make some stairs. Now we can just fill the top in like this. I, I want to make some more doors and we can have a... <laughs> and I thought, why not go overkill? I'm going to add like a little jumping uh, platform just, just for fellow yummy chemicals. Problem I hate with building, just there's no way to... <laughs> Defend yourself from the bloody damage you take. Fill the back in with glass panes because you're not jumping off there. We want safety, as always. 
So we'll fill in the interior in just a second. I just want to get the exterior done. I believe all you do is just make a platform like this. It might be one inwards, actually. That makes more sense. It's a lot less uh, intruding on the layer bo below. So you can actually get a good run and jump. I'll tell you what, I've got plans for the storage because um, eventually two chests won't suffice in the future. So we're going to go take a step forward and make a whole storage system. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And just like this, you can go. So place the log, uh, the stairs just along the logs like this, and then you can fill in the bottom stairs just to make it look like it's a roof. And then follow along the pattern until you reach the top. Yep, nowhere near as much stairs. Bloody told you so. I might as well just make a stack. There we go, forty. There's no way that's not enough. You know what, I didn't... This is probably going to look nicer if I slope it on the inside as well. And just like that, we've reached the top. I'm not going to make it go all the way to the top. I'm going to add like a, a, a bit of a flat roof. Just like this. And when we just repeat on the other side. And by the looks of it, I do not have enough ch uh, stairs. Yet again. I've been called out on it, where I always have to go back to the crafting table mid-build. Might need to start a farm soon, but I won't do anything major without uh, Yummy Chemicals as an on, because this is a, uh, a partnered realm. It's a realm for a reason, basically, so. I don't want it to be another Bloomworth SMP where we all just abandon each other and we never want to play on it again. Teamed effort, this is. This amount of sheer dedication I'm putting into this is just so Yummy Chemicals doesn't have to suffer watching me build this while he just literally watches and perfect that should be the exterior completely done all right so now to set a floor for the this layer there we go all right what am i doing i wanted to add a little uh storage area here so i can just replace this with uh cherry planks nice and then we can fill in the cracks with barrels we can simply place the barrels here I'll, I will need to move all our storage, which is only two chests full, so it shouldn't be a problem. I might not categorize it this episode, because that's just, Jesus Christ, I don't want to do that. <laughs> but we've got a nice little storage area. While I'm here, I might as well just move it all, so. I'll do a little bit of categorizing while I'm here. I've got all the wood on me anyway. I'll just add a little welcome home message for uh, Yummy Chemicals the next time he arrives, just as a little surprise. Uh, forgive me, internet. <laughs> and for the final touch of the house, I'm going to make some... Ooh. <laughs> oh, okay, perfect. I thought that was the only iron we have. Alright, we should... That should well more than be enough. I'll make 12 for now. I want to make some lanterns instead of torches. Just to make it look a bit snazzier. Mm. Right, perfect. You know, to get that rural Japanese house look, that's what I'm going for. Alright, on this little balcony here, add some lanterns here. On the corners as well. Damn, bro. Invade someone else. I could just, because this is where the doorway is, I can add two lanterns here. And I don't need to worry about it being symmetrical. Perfect. I love being cheap. So then I'll just quickly organize everything. I don't think you guys want to watch this. <laughs> Let's demonstrate the, the suicide balcony. Yee! Perfect. But to be fair, it does need... It might need some kind of entrance, so that's what I'm going to do real quick. Where are... All right, let's get some grass. All right, I'm back with the dirt. I don't know how I'm going to make this look decent at all. So... I might make some stairs leading up to it, actually. Some cherry stairs. Just as a nice build-up entrance to it. Uh, yeah, perfect, perfect. Just so it's a bit easier to climb up, because um, I can't be bothered pressing space to walk up stuff. I can kind of blend it in, I guess, like this. It has potential. 
And just like that, we are finished. I might add a few flowers and stuff, but that can wait. Alright, we should be amped up and ready for the next episode. And this is the final product. I don't know how to get this. There we go. The Japanese house. Anyways, guys. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, and please subscribe if you're new to this channel. If this helped you anyway in towards building stuff, uh, please let me know. So anyways, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!